Welcome to our deep dive into azithromycin, a versatile antibiotic that's on the front lines in the fight against bacterial infections. Whether it's a respiratory issue, a throat infection, or even certain sexually transmitted infections, azithromycin is a key player. Let's explore how it helps keep infections at bay. Azithromycin belongs to a group of antibiotics known as macrolides. It's commonly used to tackle a variety of bacterial infections, providing relief and recovery to millions of people globally. If you're prescribed azithromycin, you might know it as Zithromax or Azithril. It also comes in a form specifically for eye infections called azacite, and another version known as azithrocin. Each of these is tailored to meet different medical needs. How does azithromycin work? This antibiotic targets the protein-making machinery of bacteria, specifically the 50S ribosomal subunit. By binding to this part of the bacterial cell, it effectively halts the production of proteins essential for bacterial growth and survival. This stops the infection in its tracks. Administering azithromycin involves a specific schedule. Adults typically start with 500 mg on the first day, followed by 250 mg per day for the next four days. For children, the dose is weight-based, 10 mg per kilogram on day one, followed by 5 mg per kilogram for the next four days. It can be taken with or without food, though taking it with food might ease stomach upset. While effective, azithromycin can cause side effects, including diarrhea, nausea, abdominal pain, and allergic reactions like rashes. A rare but serious side effect to be aware of is QD prolongation, an abnormal heart rhythm that requires immediate medical attention. Before starting azithromycin, consider some important precautions. It's crucial to avoid this medication if you're allergic to any macrolides. Those with liver disease or heart rhythm disorders should use it cautiously, and adjustments might be needed. For those who are pregnant or breastfeeding, consult your healthcare provider to ensure safety. And that wraps up our guide to azithromycin. As with any medication, it's important to use it under the guidance of a healthcare provider to ensure it's safe and effective for your specific situation. Thanks for watching and stay healthy.